the first time I saw this man performing was uh, about 12 years ago when I was just starting my university uh, back in Hyderabad. And uh, here he is again today. He is also popularly known as uh, the father of uh, Naga folk blues. And he has taken Naga folk music across places. He was recently awarded uh, the Padma Shri uh, in, in 2021 by the government of India. And he also won the National Tribal Award. My favorite song from his uh, playlist is uh, Song of the Hornbill. And I was told that he's going to play that song again. Uh, he is uh, a legend. And uh, he is none other than uh, Ruben Mashanva. Guru Ruben Mashanva, as some people call him. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, shall we welcome Guru Ruben Mashanva with a round of applause. Uh, good evening, everybody. Krishna Poska and then the Katrio call me suddenly. So, I accept. <laughs> but I came here, not for money, but regarding Sanaka ancestor to this. Okay, fine, that's why I came. I want to come. That's why I accept, that's why today I'm here with you. Those who are here in this evening, in this small room, you are the cream of the Naga people. Because mm, you really interested the Naga identity. This is, I appreciate to you. Thank you so much once again. So today, I just holding as a bamboo, and the four fiddles, this is the intellectuals of the Naga property. But nowadays, the world is changing. The modern culture is very so powerful. So our culture is going underground one by one. Same thing. Once our precious things going underground, it's underground. <laughs> anyway, so few people interested to our culture need to do something in the last moment so the past has just begun is happening to this turning point we are doing today so i appreciate god bless you okay i won't and first of all see before i english is not my mother tongue i cannot speak english and I cannot speak Hindi also, Nakamis also. But in oh, uh, 2004, I started speaking English. When I was in uh, Hyderabad, you are there, I did not address. But anyway, I just performed. Just my music talk to the people. So my music helped me to understand, connecting to me and the people. But you yeah. accept me? Yes. Guru Ben is standing with the Naga traditional attire. So these kind of people, where I learned English is very far, but by the grace of God, bring us the new religions to our Naga area. That's why the Englishman teach us some teaching to English. Now, even my children can speak very well, but they cannot give a speech to the people because they have no idea. No idea. No experience. So today I'm talking is my experience. See, don't think about the grammar, past tense, future tense, uh, present tense. Forget. <laughs> but what we need to do is, anyway, let's go back to our past, our forefathers doing. Today, your program is 1910 to 2020, is 100 years. Before that, our forefathers, they have our musical instruments, folk, traditional culture, in the music culture, they have. So they use varieties of musical instruments. And I do a, research lot, I do a lot of research work in Nagaland also, but I don't understand village uh, language. Even I don't understand the Tangkul language. But today we are speaking is a common language. It's created by the William Petit. We have many instruments in my research work. But when I ask to the elders, how many instruments we have? Ah, we have Tintila, 
and then the uh, the they don't want to the old people oh and then in my lifetime I do so 20 instrument we have and I explain to the old people we have 20 Yo. okay today <clears throat> I'm glad to play to blow my flutes now I'm the only person when I die I'll take back I won't come back again in this world so when I do research work I met this folk instruments. These are long flutes, three feet long. And this very special flute, a very special bamboo, available in the Myanmar border, down from Myanmar border. So, so many flutes company, when I travel to India, uh, UP, they ask me, this is, this is only one uh, piece, and this is nothing. Even proof? Yes. Inside is nothing. It's just a like panicula. So this is amazing. So I'm, I learned and I met one guy after a long time. So he, I asked him a so lot of stories. Bamboo is everything for uh, tribal people. The global divided by four. Three part is without bamboo cannot survive our life. Europe, no bamboo. Africa, something. But my image, my face, is the majority in the world. Believe me. So, these people, bamboo is really connected. So, a lot of stories here. Bamboo give us food, house, cosine, everything. But nowadays, replaced by the uh, iron, making house, whatever, whatever. Even everything's bamboo. And even China make money from bamboo. So bamboo is very important. Pepper come up from bamboo. And he give a lot of things, rituals, belief. So bamboo, the walls, softest, melodious sound is given by what? Who? Bamboo. This is magic. And I play so many flutes in the world. I don't know how to play this a six hole chromatic scale, but mine is pentatonic. It's just four, four hole. Inside is nothing. But simultaneously at a time, the sound, three sounds come out. This is given by the uh, God. This is amazing. So this is the wonderful. So my flute took me to many places. And my forfeitors took me many places and songs. This is our forefathers. It's very, very sincere. Very sincere. Pure heart. This is this empty and bamboo give us beautiful sound, melodies from heart to heart. And at the time you got the tree sound. So when it blows sometimes you get tree sound. This is amazing. But this is not by me. It's our forefathers, they play like this. So God give us really the god love us to the, our people all the people and this fruit name is yang gohi yang means energy and gohi means playing yang gohi okay here it goes
So I learned one by one, so I take long time. Now, that times I was 42 years, and the old guys is uh, 75 years. So when I reach 55, he's normal. So now I'm alone. So I told them, appeal to the Naga youngsters, this is a Naga flute. This is the only flute in the world. But till today, no one has came and learned because it's very really tough to learn. Okay, after I die, I'll take back. I won't come back again anymore. But you can see only in the uh, video. <laughs> anyway, okay, now the four fiddles. So I asked the old guys, how many instruments we have? They say, the dingila is the main instruments. The woman instruments are uh, uh, Pakatong, 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 wang, 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 bamboo. Oh, I said, okay, I said, okay, oh, you're soft. But we have so many old instruments, percussions, so many percussions. But I cannot explain today when we are having a workshop, then I'll tell everything. I'll bring all my instruments, I'll show and I'll demonstrate. But today is very limited timing. I think evening though, I don't know. But this this evening, but after sunset, what will happen, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, hello. Okay. This is the oldest musical instrument in the world. You know, this is uh, in London, four fiddle and spike fiddle. It's the musical, the oldest musical string instrument in the world. You know, and then another is harp, which the David used. So this record is there in the London um, uh, archive. So these instruments used everywhere, but different styles. And after that, they make a violins and strings, things. But in olden times, they use in the threads, the wooden threads, okay? And then after that, the thread is not strong. That's why they start using the horse tail here. And then here is no horse tail. So our people use the woman here. And then the women, a lot of stories, those who are alive women and beautiful women long here when they request the music player love. The music. So they request to the woman and the woman keeps some here, long here. They use. When they start playing, the woman is really happy. You know, what's, what's wrong about that? Oh, then lastly, they don't ask to the Living woman. Okay, fine. Because of love music, they kill the woman. This is the story is about. And they kill the woman, head hunting. 
keep it in the uh, paddy field when and after the uh, rotan took out and they played music. They love more than women to this music. <laughs> <laughs> so this is story serious. But after that, when the British came to here, long uh, <coughs> horse tail, okay, they start using horse tail here. So now we are standing with a horse tail here. And after that, the uh, metal sounds come out. That is violent. But this is horse tail here. So I also uh, intend from the Europe, it's a long hair, but Manipur pony is there's a very small pony. It cannot reach long. So sound beep 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 beep. <laughs> but I like men voice, that's why beep. So, <laughs> so we buy, I buy, I so musician, yeah, shop, they intend. So it's a very long, you know, see? Very long. So anyway. Okay, let me play the origin of the fall. This is a pounding right. Think ding. Mala now na marunga yaro now na clean side. So this is no no these songs, but these are walk songs. So I cannot explain uh, this story is about, but it's a it's a, a walk songs, a fun songs, and talking about the. Uh, boys and girls stories about and in our olden times no rice meal every day we're pounding rice one basket five kgs or seven kgs we pounding and so every day we pounding so according to nowadays the rice meal is there and we can supply russian <laughs> no time you see but in olden times, every day the boys and girls pounding, fathers and mothers they are going by the field, come back. So, according to this, they are composed these kind of songs, and this is a three dimensions meaning. But three dimensions meaning I cannot explain. <coughs> so next time, if you are happy, I go and learn how to explain English. In, uh, very nice. But today, I just give the melodies, the rhythms, the happiness, the fun. Okay. Jesus, son, because I'm 